Hey guys, Philippa Hanna here and welcome to Inspiration 365, 365 days of inspiration. We're talking about mental health here on Inspiration 365 and I have some really exciting perspective to share with you today. A mental health issue can be the flip side of a gift. Now this might sound a little controversial, a little confusing, but please just stick with me while I explain this one. I am so blessed to be able to do what I love for a living. And what I do encompasses a lot of different things. I write music, I perform, I've written three books and I'm working on two more. And a lot of people think that my gifts are singing, songwriting, music, whatever. But my main primary gift is the exact thing that has threatened my mental health my entire life. My main gift in life is my imagination. My brain can be just so full of beautiful pictures and sounds and music, and I can be so productive. I can pull all of this great stuff together, but you know what? My imagination has the power to turn on me. I can become incredibly anxious and fixated on the worst possible outcome. Anxiety often comes from our imagination. Fear is the imagining of the worst case scenario. That exact same organ of my imagination can cause me to see someone's experience of being jilted by their fiance and write a song like Summer Bride or I can look at my self image and imagine myself as a rag doll and imagine God as a rag doll creator. I've just found that my imagination is my greatest gift and so long as I'm harnessing that and using it, it can be so incredibly positive. I can't make any scientific conclusion on this, but I truly believe, and I've met so many people who encounter the same thing, that the other side of their mental health issue is actually a really incredible strength. So if you're very, very sensitive and take things very personally and take things to heart, that is likely to be a gift for empathy. You very likely want to take care of others. A lot of people who find it difficult to cope with their surroundings, like when they go out to parties or they step into a room and they can feel the tension of an argument, those people are extremely perceptive and empathetic and can often draw on that gift to help other people. Again, this is just me as a friend sharing my experience, but I just wanna plant that thought in your mind today that maybe if you're struggling with a type of fear or an obsessive compulsive issue, perhaps on the other side of that, is something fantastic that could be a great gift to you and others. If you're depressed or anxious, perhaps you're really empathetic. I'm praying for you, wherever you are today, that if you are struggling, that you'll be able to find the gold inside this situation and find the treasure inside your issue and realize that actually inside all that weakness, could be an incredible strength. Thanks so much for tuning in today, guys. I really hope you found this inspiring and helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and to share this with your friends. Again, I'm just sharing my experiences with you as a friend through the lens. And I hope you'll join me again tomorrow for some more good stuff. Over and out. That when it comes to my... A lot of people who are extremely sensitive to their environment and who find certain... And who find... My suggestion would be... To think about, my suggestion to you would be